So I recently um, added a girl on Facebook. Absolutely stunning looking girl. Beautiful, beautiful girl. And she's got a kid. And I've noticed this. I've noticed that a lot of times I'll be on Facebook and I'll see a friend request or friend suggestion pop up in my Facebook feed and it's of a beautiful girl and sometimes they live close to me and I'm like oh okay maybe I'll send her a friend request say hi and I'll send her a friend request and she accepts the friend request and then I go to check out her profile because that's what you do. That's what Facebook is. It's basically just stalking, basically just legal stalking <laughs> and, you know, agreed upon stalking. People want you to stalk them. Look at my life. Oh, I'm so cool. Right. Anyway, so I go to her page and I, and I look at her page. And I'm like, wow, she's stunning. She's gorgeous. And invariably, I'd say eight times out of ten. A lot. This happens to me a lot if I'm adding gir attractive girls. I'll go to her page and I see that she has a kid. And she's a single mom. And this happens all the time. <laughs> all the time. And I'm just like, what is going on out there in our society, man? And the reason I want to talk about this one is because going through a breakup recently... And a woman saying she wanted to have a kid with me. Now, I've never had a kid with a woman. And thank God, because the women in, the, in this generation are messed up. They're horrible. Now, there's something in me that's like, gosh, you know, I want love. I want to have a family. I want to have kids. I'm not so much just like those other men who are like, oh, I got to pass on my seed. I need to feel proud that I've got progeny out there. I'm not one of those type of men. In fact, I'm probably the almost the opposite of that. I probably don't want a kid. The only circumstances where I would really want a kid in this day and age, in 2019, with how bad it is out there. And a lot of people agree with me. A lot of people feel like, why would you bring a kid into this messed up world? Why would you do that? It's irresponsible. It's terrible. But I don't. But also, on the flip side, maybe I'm paradoxical. I don't believe in abortion. I think that's messed up. I think it's murder. So I'm kind of paradoxical and contrasting. However, I do think unless you have the right scenario, unless you live in the right area, unless you got the right type of money, the right type of schools, that type of thing, I would not bring a kid into this world because it's so messed up. There's so much negative, so much pain, so much hurt, so much crap out there. So messed up. The only way I would want a kid is if You know, I had a good amount of money and I lived in a good neighborhood. And I've, I've lived in good neighborhoods before, so I know what those look like. Opposed to bad neighborhoods or neighborhoods where, you know, a lot of things can happen. But even in good neighborhoods, the world is so messed up. The internet, you know, so much crap. The music is that, you know, the drugs, all, all the, 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 you know, the manipulative women, the, the, the sexuality, sexualization is so messed up. And I know what it's done to me. I've lived through it. Uh, I, I'm quote unquote a survivor of it. And I know what it is. It's it's an evil manipulation. And on that note, I want to transition into what I really wanted to talk about in this video, which is manipulation. I want to talk about how women manipulate men. So, what is manipulation? It's really psychological abuse technically if you really get into it manipulation is psychological and emotional abuse really you're you're, you're manipulating somebody into believing something you're manipulating into uh, somebody into you know getting something out of out of them or whatever you want and one word that popped up in my head and that I've learned about over the years is this word called gaslighting it's a new term that I learned about a few years ago when I was going through a different breakup that was just as painful um, when a girl used me 
and I learned what it was and, and she manipulated me into falling in love with her. And then when I fell in love with her, the moment that she realized I was falling in love with her, she broke up with me uh, for whatever reason, you know, because a guy who's, um, who's emotional and affectionate over a girl is no longer deemed attractive to these messed up sluts today. And I realized that she manipulated me. She emotionally manipulated me, and that's what these girls are doing, a lot of them. This is why they have sex a lot of times, is, is they want to, they want your power. They want that masculinity, and, they, and they, they try to manipulate you into loving them. And when you love them, then they, they rip your heart out. A lot of times, these girls are so messed up that they'll only sleep with you and they'll only date you and chase you if you don't love them, if you don't show them any affection, if you're, if you're very indifferent to them because they view it as a challenge and it's a sick, twisted, this is how messed up these girls are today. And I would say female nature to a good extent is that messed up, it, just, just anyways. There are very few and far between good, you know, emotionally adjusted women out there who, who really love you, who really know how to build up a man, who really know how to support a man, who are honest. It's very, very common that women are messed up in today's day and age, that they're, they're, they're over-sexualized because of gynocentrism. They, they have no checks and balances. There's no accountability for their behavior. A few years ago, there was a woman who literally coerced her boyfriend. I don't even know if they, they had ever met. I think it was like a long-term relationship kind of thing and he was suicidal and she convinced him to kill himself and if you've ever seen something or heard something that messed up or you want to see something hear something that messed up go and read the text between those two you can google this it's, it's really she, she went to jail for like a year it was horrible she got the pussy pass the judge only gave her a year and if you read the text it was absolutely disgusting and deplorable this one this young woman i think she was like 17 18 she literally talked this guy into killing himself if you read the read the text it's they're out there on the internet it's horrible this this person and she's getting out i think in a few months she only served a year and she talked this guy into killing himself. And there was a point where he was, he was doing it. She, he, he asphyxiated himself in his garage by turning the car on or whatever, right? And he was doing it. And then he chickened out and he went back in the house. And he was like, I don't think I can do it. Texted her, texted her. And she's like, get back in there and do it. Do what you said you're going to do. And, did it. and then he went back and did it. And he killed himself. And this woman only got a year. And that's how sick our world is. You know, emotional and mental and psychological manipulation is real. And this is how these women roll. This is what they do. They emotionally manipulate men. It's called gaslighting. Let me read the definition of gaslighting. Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse where the abuser manipulates situations repeatedly to trick the victim into distrusting his or her own memory and perceptions. Gaslighting is an insidious form of abuse. It makes victims question their very instincts that they have counted on their whole lives, making them unsure of anything. Gaslighting makes it very likely that victims will believe whatever their abusers tell them, regardless as to their own experience of the situation. Gaslighting often precedes other types of emotional and physical abuse because the victim of gaslighting is more likely to remain in other abusive situations as well. The term gaslighting comes from the 1938 British play Gaslight, wherein a husband attempts to drive his wife crazy using a variety of tricks causing her to question her own perceptions and sanity. Gaslight was made into a movie both in 1940 and 1944. Gaslighting techniques and examples. There are numerous gaslighting techniques which can make gaslighting more difficult to identify. Gaslighting techniques are used to hide truths that the abuser doesn't want the victim to realize. Gaslighting abuse can be per 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 uh, perpetuated, uh, perpetrated sorry, by either women or men. Withholding is one gaslighting technique where the abuser feigns a lack of understanding, refuses to listen, and declines to share his emotions. 
Gaslighting examples of this would be, I'm not listening to that crap again tonight, you're just trying to confuse me. Another gaslighting technique is countering, where an abuser will vehemently call into question a victim's memory in spite of the victim having remembered things correctly. Think about when you didn't remember things correctly last time. You thought, you thought that last time, and you were wrong. These techniques throw the victim off the intended subject matter and make them question their own motivations and perceptions rather than the issue at hand. It is then that the abuser will start to question the experiences, thoughts, and opinions more globally through statements said in anger, like, you see everything in the most negative way. Well, you, you've obviously never believed in me then. You have an overactive imagination. Blocking and diverting are gaslighting techniques whereby the abuser again changes the conversation from the subject matter to questioning the victim's thoughts and controlling the conversation. Gaslighting examples of this include, I'm not going through that again. Where did you get a crazy idea like that? Quit bitching. You're hurting me on purpose. Trivializing is another way of gaslighting. It involves making the victim believe his or her thoughts or needs aren't important, such as, you're going to let something like that come in between us? Abusive forgetting and denial can also be forms of gaslighting in this technique. The abuser pretends to forget things that have really occurred. The abuser may also deny things like promises that have been made that are important to the victim. An abuser might say, what are you talking about? I don't have to take this. You're making that up. Some gaslighters will then mock the victim for their wrongdoings and misperceptions. Gaslighting psychology. The gaslighting techniques are used in conjunction to try to make the victim doubt their own thoughts, memories, and actions. Soon the victim is scared to bring up any topic at all for fear, for fear they are wrong about it or don't remember the situation correctly. The worst gaslighters will even create situations that allow the usage of gaslighting techniques. An example of this is taking the victim's keys from the place where they are always left, making the victim think she has misplaced them, then helping the victim with her bad memory find the keys. So I don't want to continue to read that, but that's those are some techniques. Now, I've had experience particularly with, with withholding, which is the technique where the abuser feigns a lack of understanding, refuses to listen, and declines to share his emotions. Gaslighting his or her emotions. Gaslighting examples. Of, okay. So women. this is how women do this a lot. They withhold. They, they decline to share their emotions. I've had particular experience with this. Um, and then also countering as well as diverting so it's like oh don't look at the crazy things that i did to you don't look at all the messed up things i did pay attention to this or pay attention to that right so um this is how women manipulate men this is how these women hurt men in in this society today and i think it's part of female psychology to be subtle and to and particularly in this day and age because they don't want people to know what they really are they don't want people to know how they really behave particularly the guys they're interested in they don't want these guys to know you know the the the, the negative things they've really done they want to trivialize things they want to counter it they want to you know w withhold the, the truth they want to withhold the proper information in lieu of the lie that they're they're backing up and a lot of men get hurt by this, and I want to talk more about this, um, you know, particularly in the in in the lieu of how men get hurt and suicide, and how forty one percent of men, you know, who contemplated suicide felt like they don't know who, you know, they don't feel that they can talk about their feelings, and they feel like they'll get mocked, and they won't be encouraged. And this is this is a, that is a part of toxic masculinity where men can't open up and things like that, you know. And suicide is the biggest killer of men under age 45 but we don't talk about what causes men to be so hurt you know we don't talk about how women hurt men or how how women emotionally manipulate men in our society we're usually always talking about how men are toxic and, and, and we're uplifting women and this is something that is messed up you know and it takes something like Mig, like MGTOW or the red pill in order to for guys to even open up and talk about all the all the shitty sh things that women have done to them which is really sad how we can't talk about women in our society. And it's just like, um, you know, that great philosopher said, be careful or, or, or pay attention and be careful to who you can't criticize because the people you can't criticize are the ones who rule over you. So who can't we criticize in, 